Strobing is the newest makeup trend that everyone is talking about. It's basically luminizing your face times 16 billion. Forget about highlighting and contouring well just for this video and I'm going to show you how to be all about that strobe life for oily skin. I'm starting off by moisturizing my skin very well with um, the Embroilees Lut Cream Concentrate. And this is for all skin types. So if you do have oily skin um, or dry skin, it's perfect for you. Um, this is a limited edition bottle, but it just comes in like a blue and white bottle. And it's amazing. It really, really hydrates the skin. I'm just applying some to the back of my hand and taking a foundation brush by Sigma F60 and just brush it into the skin. We want the skin to be dewy and sort of have that wet look. So that's why I am applying moisturizer now so that it can sink into the skin while I'm doing my eyes. I'm taking the soft ochre paint pot and I'm just going to cancel out any redness or darkness around my eyes. And I am applying it with a RC Cosmetics brush. It's just like an angled kabuki, like a precision brush. And I am applying it with this, but I'm just going to spread it out with my fingers because we don't want it to be too matte and covered. Because with this strobing look, it's more like natural skin coming through. So just spread it out. And... No, you got the wrong number. Thanks, bye. Weird. For the crease, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm using a MAC 217 brush and I'm using a bronzer color that's meant to be for contouring from MAC and this is called Bone Beige. And just applying it to the crease. For the lid color, I'm just gonna do a light wash of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone and I'm just using the large shader brush by Sigma the E60. To apply this to the eyelid I'm just using Zoeva's classic shader brush in 232 and I'm just going to apply that to the middle and let it fade out into Moonstone. I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ash Brown. And to do that, I'm going to use the 322 Brow Line by Zoeva. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the eyes. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm just giving my eyelashes, my top eyelashes, a quick coat. I'm not going to do the bottom ones just yet. So this strobing trend is like the shortest horror story for girls with oily skin, let me tell you. But we can highlight and powder in certain areas to stop the oil from coming through in the areas that we really get oily. So I'm going to use the Philosophy Total Matteness um, just in the areas that I tend to get oily. And I'm going to apply it with a precision round brush from Sigma. So I've just taken a little bit of that on the back of my hand and I'm just going to dab that in the areas that I get oily. So around the nose and just here around my mouth 
bit down there and a bit here because I do tend to get one there and feel free to do this wherever you get oily so just anywhere really me yeah we're gonna make sure that us oily girls can still keep up with makeup trends but not look like an oil slick all right I'm going to take the same highlighter from Colourpop and just apply that to the areas of the face that I want to highlight. So I'm just applying that with my fingers and I'm just going to pat that onto the areas that I know the light naturally hits. So the cheekbones. And remember all I've applied to the skin is moisturizer and a bit of that primer in the areas that I needed. I'm applying that on my nose and middle of the forehead here and just apply that on top of the eyebrows as well. And just here on the cupid's bow. I'm going to use a luminous foundation that stays all day and keeps me quite matte and that's the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation and I'm using the colour Punjab. So I'm using the Sonia Kashuk Holiday Collection, um, I don't know what you'd call it, buffing brush um, and I'm just going to buff or pat that into the skin very softly. Um, if you don't have a brush like this you can use maybe an angled contour brush. This one's from MAC. Or you could also use a duo fiber brush from Sigma and this is number F50. So I've just got the foundation on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna dip this brush into it and get it all covered. Now I'm just going to pat it on to the areas that aren't highlighted first because these are the areas that I, will that I will require most coverage. And then it can feather out from there. So we're still, we are gonna go over the highlighted, the areas that we highlighted. So it's just gonna look really luminous under the skin. I mean, under the foundation. Now with this new trend, it's all about natural, flawless skin, but I'm not gonna have my eye bag showing. So I'm still gonna cover them up with a concealer and I'm not highlighting, I'm just covering up the darkness under my eyes. I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I'm gonna apply that with the concealer brush from Sigma and it's the F75 one. And I'm just lightly going to apply that underneath the eyes. To blend that in, I'm using a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to softly press that into the skin. So that's just going to cover the dark circles. So that us oily girls can keep up with the new makeup trend, strobing, we want to place powder in the areas that we get oily. So I'm just using this translucent powder from Laura Mercier and I'm using a luxe Face Focus Brush from Zoeva, number 114. So I'm just picking up some of that powder and dusting it under the eyes, then around the nose area. I'm also placing a little bit underneath the chin here, and also just there where I can see my oily skin is already trying to come through, and a bit there. So I'm going to take that same Becca highlight with a Zoeva Luxe Fan Brush 129 and I'm going to place that strategically on the skin. So just around here and it's going to give you that beautiful glow and a bit on the cheeks because we did apply that matte powder there. 
going to apply that to the chin. And also taking this highlight brush from Zoeva, a 105, um, the Bamboo Collection. Just going to apply the highlight right in the middle of the forehead. Be careful with this because you can look super oily. And then just taking my fingers and applying it on top of the brow bone. And I'm going to apply it to the bridge of my nose. Make sure you get underneath the nose. This is what creates that button effect. So really apply underneath the nose. And also right in the middle here. And just connect it with that forehead. I'm also applying it to the sides of the nose because that's where the light hits. But make sure not to get in there because you do get quite oily there. And then obviously the top of the cupid's bow there. I'm also applying that same highlight to the brow bone with a medium sweeper brush from Sigma E54. And then also on the inner corners of the eyes. And then just so that I don't have a lot of harsh lines, I'm going to use a tapered blending brush from Sigma E35 and just go around the face and blend out those lines. So I'm just going to add some blush and I'm just going to pick up this one here. Um, it's Peaches from MAC. And I'm just going to take the Lux Fan Brush as well. And I'm just going to focus that on the actual apples of the cheeks. Grab that same colour from um, MAC that I used in the crease and just put that underneath the eye with the same MAC 217 brush. So just to the inner rim of the eye, I'm going to use MAC's Fascinating Eyeliner. And then to finish off the lower lash line, I'm just going to use um, MAC's Extended Play Lash Mascara. Because we are now all about that strobe life, I'm just going to use a gloss. This is Baby Doll from Galactic and just put that on my lips. Now because we want that wet look on the face, we are going to spray Fix Plus to the skin and just make it a little bit more dewy. glistening right now. So what do you guys think? Are you all going to be about that strobe life and forget contouring even existed or are you going to keep on highlighting and contouring? I don't know. I feel quite naked without my contour but it's it's beautiful flawless natural skin and I think it looks really nice.